Okay, in this problem, we're asked to find the max and min values of our function f, where f of x, y is given as x times y, and e is the region of the filled rectangle where x is between negative 2 and 2, and y is between negative 1 and 1. So I've just kind of sketched the region e here, and we want to find the max value of f of x, y in that region. Okay, so in the normal way, we'll take the gradient vector of our function f and find the critical points. And we're only interested in critical points that lie within the interior of our function e. And then we're also going to have to check the boundary points, the boundary where x is equal to 2 and negative 2, and y is equal to 1 and negative 1 to see if the, if the boundary contains the maximum or min values. Okay, so first we'll take the gradient vector of our function f of x, y. Partial derivative with respect to x is y, and the partial derivative with respect to y is x. So we want the gradient vector to be equal to 0, so if we set this equal to 0, we see that we need y and x to be equal to 0, so we have x equals 0 and y equals 0 is our only critical point for our function f of x, y. And so at the origin, we have a critical point. And clearly, f of x, y, where x and y are both 0, is 0. So now we want to check the boundary. So this point is clearly in the interior of E, so we'll include that in our points to check. And now we'll check the boundary, so let's say that x is equal to 2. Then our function f, we'll call this fr for right, since when x is equal to 2, it's this line here. And fr is equal to 2y. Our gradient vector of this function it, or well, we can just take the regular derivative since there's only one function, one variable. So fr prime is two, which never is equal to zero. So we have no critical points when x is equal to two. So So that means we have to check the boundary um, along this line segment where y is equal to 1 or negative 1. So let's say y is equal to 1. Then we have the point 1, 2. And when y is equal to negative 1, oh, sorry. This should be 2, 1. And we have the point 2, negative 1. So that means we're just looking at these points there. And maybe I'll just start a list here. So we want So we have three points to check so far. We can go ahead and start calculating these. So we have 0, 2, and negative 2. And now we'll go ahead and check when x is equal to negative 2. We have f left is equal to negative 2y. fl prime is equal to negative 2, which is never equal to 0. So we have no critical points on f left. So we have to check the boundary of f left, which is when, again, y equals 1. We have
negative 2, 1. And when y is equal to negative 1, we have the point negative 2, negative 1. So we have these points here. Okay, so we have the four corners of our rectangle and the origin so far. We just have two lines to check um, for the remaining boundary. Um, if we don't find any interior points, we can note that we already have the boundaries of, of the region in our list. So, hold on, I'll just... So we already have all of the boundaries of our line segments, so we just need to make sure that there's no critical points in the interior of these lines. So we can go ahead and say y is equal to 1. We have f top is equal to x, and f top prime is equal to 1, which is never equal to 0, so we have no interior critical points along this line. And we'll see the same for y equals negative 1. We have f bottom is equal to negative x, so f bottom prime is equal to negative 1. And again, we have no interior critical points. So all of the points that we're going to check to see if they're the max or min are labeled and listed here. So now we can just look by inspection and see where we have max and mins. So we have a minimum here. We have two minimums and two maximums. So the max is at 2, 1. So that's there. And again at negative 2, negative 1. And we have mins at negative 2, 1 and 2, negative 1. So the origin is the only critical point that's not a max or min where it's, the function is 0. So we have two maxes, two global maximums on our compact region E and two global minimums on our count, compact region E.